We all have demons. <laughs> Some of us are good at hiding them. Others are good at hiding from them. Some of us befriend our demons and learn to live with them. <laughs> Others can't run from or expel their demons because their demons are right there with them all the time. of money, I see. I have class much later. Yeah. Get up! Good morning. I said, good morning. When someone speaks to you, you answer them. Why are you being such a little shit? You are a fucking waste of space. Who the hell are you, huh? Who the fuck are you? Why do you exist? Ever since your disgusting, dirty, lazy, monkey good-for-nothing father stole my daughter's innocence and beauty only to give birth to you. You twisted, mutilated piece of shit. I have been miserable. And once your sister was born, well, he disappeared, leaving my daughter to raise the two of you alone until she died sucking on that same straw you do. You are nothing but a fucking reminder. A stain. A bastardization of my daughter's life. Hey, where are you going, you little piss? I ain't done talking to you. And you haven't eaten your breakfast. Get back here. You want to be crazy, huh? Oh, I can be crazier. Please stop. You dirty, nasty, disgusting, lazy, ungrateful bitch. You do nothing, nothing, but sit around here and take my food, my money, and you destroy my home. And you can't even bother to contribute to this 
house, family, or society as a whole. Stop it! Now. Give me the phone, you little troll. No, damn it. You're not running away from this. Not again. <laughs> you always do this. She beats the shit out of you and you run. Well, stop it. Because I can't fucking stand it when you leave. You're a big girl now. You can handle it. <laughs> oh, really? Really, Hunter? I've watched her beat you for the better part of 19 years and you think I can handle it? It's not like she does it to you. When you leave, after you two fight, she has so much left over, she takes it on me. So tell me, can I handle it? Can I? You're my sister, Hunter, and I love you. I love you more than anyone. But you and Grandmother fight, and I'm there for what's left. I just can't. I can't do it. I never wanted her to hurt you. I've taken every blow intended for you for years because I never wanted this for you. And I failed. I failed as your big sister. Go to Miracle's house and stay there until I figure all this out. We'll both get out of this one way or another. I'm sorry, but I want to go with you. No, you can't go where I'm going. But where? Right. Tell him in your angel dust I said hi. Drake! Drake, I know you're home. I see your broke-ass car out here. Open the fucking door. Okay, 
Damn, don't you No, baby, not today. Come on, I need you. Look at me. Look what she did. I need you. You promised. You promised you'd be there for me. You remember when we were kids? You remember when we would play on the playground? Or in your grandmother's backyard? And you'd hide me in your room until Penny was asleep so I could go home. Well, I need that. All of it. And now, right now. So open the fucking door. Please, Drake, please. Promise me you'll protect me? Always. See you anymore? No, no, you aren't understanding what I'm saying. No, I don't want you to come over ever again. No, don't, just don't. Please don't. Stacy. What are you doing, Hunter? Get paid, little shorty, get paid. Hundred thousand in the safe, couple thousand in the drain, in the drain. Get paid, little shorty, get Hey man, what's up? You've been trying to roll through here for a while. Where you been? I was handling something. Don't worry about it. What you need, I got you. Yo, I'm all here today, or do I have to go find somewhere else? Nah man, I got you. Yo, you know who I heard from last night? Hunter. Yo, you see that crazy chick girl? Look, man. We all grew up with her. We all know how she is. My man here is just a little bit concerned. Concern? Yep. Okay. Hey, man. No disrespect on your bitch. Get out! You are weak. You let a bitch control your ass. No! She doesn't make me weak. She makes me strong. Maybe it's your bitch that makes you weak. That's why you keep looking for your side chick. Molly. Great, you don't mean it. Get out, both of you. Until you know how I respect a woman, get your shit somewhere else. Shop is closed. Thanks for the hookup. I love when Molly comes to me free. Actually. She paid me when you were looking, bitch. You son of a bitch. If time was spent above, why the years go by so slow? As if it wants to remember. All I must say. 
Why are you doing this to yourself? What am I doing? What am I doing? Really? You don't know? Wait. You don't know. It's crazy. Hunter? You crazy ass bitch. Always has been. You've been chasing her ass since you were kids. You're still chasing her ass. Say let the bitch go. Don't disrespect Hunter like that. You can get the fuck out. No disrespect meant, man, but damn. She's a fucking crazy ass bitch. And you keep letting her in. One of these days she's gonna fucking kill you. Let her. What? Let her? Yes. She's the love of my life. As fucked up as she is, I love her. My dad was drinking a case of butter at night. And then beat me and my birds until the sun came up. Hunter listened and kept me from killing myself every time because she told me about her grandmother who was so much worse. I was lucky to get out when I did. I ran to my homies, and my brother Stan became just like him. When it comes to Hunter, so if you want to call her a bitch or crazy, don't do it around me, because I'll beat the shit out of you if you do. Then get the fuck out of my house.
here we are again, guys. It's been eight months together, and I am so proud of all of your progress. Do you remember the first time you came here? Probably couldn't even look at me, have you? And look how far you've come. Jose, would you like to tell us about your journey to sobriety? I was a meth addict about nine months ago, going down a route in a dark past. But then suddenly I decided to clean myself up. I met someone, and at the moment right now, we're actually uh, having a baby. I'm gonna be a father. That's wonderful. David, would you like to tell us about your journey? This girlfriend I used to shoot up every weekend, and then my little sister died in a car accident. Um, I'm so sorry. I've been sober for five hours. She used to five hours. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Remember, we're all here for you, okay? Oops. Chris, would you like to tell us your name? Uh, sure. <clears throat> well, I had a uh, crack addiction. And so far, I made it have months clean from my crack addiction. And during that time, I had met someone special that has kept me along with my journey. So I'm thankful for her, and I'm thankful for God. Congratulations. Orlando, can I, can I just interject with mine real quick? Oh, yeah, uh, so, it's been a long journey uh, since we started here, and to be honest, I feel like I was dragged here, and it's been a little hard, maybe more so than others, when you live with your supplier, but I feel like I've been doing really good, and if anyone acts, there's been about three lunches since my last relapse, and I'm acting with the real answers. That's it. Thank you for sharing. Is there anyone else who would like to go? Thank you all for coming. Again, remember the program, it works if you work it. <laughs> This is a surprise. I'm scared. I have a man I'm in love with, but I might hurt him, or, or vice versa. Sometimes the scariest thing we can do is open ourselves up to love. It's going to sound cheesy, but love is giving someone a weapon to kill us, but trusting them not to. Take care. I promise that I won't hurt you, but I did, but never again. Hunter, I've been in love with you since the sixth grade. I've watched, watched your grandmother beat on you over and over again. No, no more. Please just listen. I won't leave you. I won't hurt you. Not anymore. I promise. Damn it, Hunter!
You aren't going. Why? Why do you want me to stay? So she can find you? Yes. So she can yell at you? Yes. So she can do to you what she's done to me? Yes, yes, yes. Damn it, Hunter. Why are you doing this? Why are you pushing me away? Because. Why? Because. I will kill you. I will destroy you. You'll get sick of me. You want to beat me and leave me. You will hate me, and I will come to further hate myself because the one person, the one person that I love more than anything in this world and that I trust with a knife, knowing that I will piss you off so much that you'll want to kill me, but trust you and trust that you won't because I hope that you do love me enough to not leave. But I know you will, and I want to leave before you do. What are you doing? I'll never leave you. I made that promise that I live in. And I make that promise now. It is you and me. Together. Forever. who he's marrying, you know, who he's giving his name to. <laughs> She'll destroy you. She'll destroy your home and your name. Do you really want that? Hmm? Yes, I do. I want her to destroy me because she puts me back together. I want her to destroy my home. We can build a new one together. I want her to destroy my name. I'll make a new one myself with her by my side. You see, you spent your entire life breaking her, destroying her, bleeding her, and I spent as much time picking up those pieces and gluing them back together, giving her my heart, my life, my soul to make her whole again. And I'll continue to do it by her side, as her husband. And I know you don't like it. You hate it. But I'm doing what no one has ever done for her. I'm loving her the way she deserves and craves. Maybe Maggie won't leave you, but if you will hurt her, I'll come back for my sister-in-law. Parts of me that everyone hated, he loved. No one's saying a word, but I can feel your heartbeat. I stare into your eyes, and you into mine, lying perfectly still, like we are frozen. The parts of me everyone feared, he embraced. I don't want this to be over. The darkness in me, he helps me tame because sometimes someone sees a fucked up in you and finds it beautiful. Because their fucked up matches yours.
perfectly. Two souls in the moonlight I stare into your eyes And you into mine Lying perfectly still Like we have frozen